Hi, good morning. So it is day two of um, Vlogmas. Did I forget what I was doing? It's a rough morning, guys. Oh my goodness. I was up till like um, one something in the morning editing um, yesterday's vlog. And it was brutal. <laughs> Waking up this morning was brutal. And then last night my computer did something totally weird that it had never done before. It completely froze. I couldn't get it to do anything. I don't know what was going on, but I had to turn the whole thing off and then turn it back on. And I was praying that I had, you know, that all of my footage saved. And finally, when I opened up Final Cut Pro and I saw that my whole video was still there, just ready for me to load, such a relief came over me because I swear, I, I don't know what I would have done. Well, what I would have done is I would have gone to bed because I was too tired to do anything else at that point. And I would have probably cried myself to sleep because that would have been horrible, horrible, horrible. But anyways, it wasn't. And obviously you guys saw um, my first, hopefully you saw it. And if you didn't, I will link it in the eye above and you can see Vlogmas day one. So today I'm outside of, let's see if you can see at home so at home recently opened up in my neighborhood well not my neighborhood but in the city I live in and I had been here once before or actually twice I came here with my friend and um, and they had a ton of Christmas stuff then but it was too early for me to decide what I wanted to do and where I wanted to put stuff so now that I'm almost fully decorated at home there's a couple of stuff that I want to pick up mainly some outdoor stuff that I thrown away because it was already rusted and old and maybe a little bit of some more stuff for the inside if anything catches my eye. But stick around and we'll see. So last time I was here, they had uh, the exact same um, like outdoor sign thing that I had had that I purchased years ago from a thrift store and, or um, it was like Goodwill or something. And I saw it, so I threw out my old one, and I was gonna buy a new one. Well, this is, but I, I didn't buy it at the moment when I saw it because I figured oh, I'll come back later. This is a perfect example of when you find something you like, buy it because you're gonna come back, and then you're gonna be stuck with something you you're okay with but you don't love. <laughs> so yeah, the one I wanted isn't here. Oh well. So these are buy one get one, and they're ten dollars each. So two Christmas pillows for $15 is a pretty good deal. Okay, so I already have mine. I don't need another one. I really like this one though because it has like the hollies. But if you're looking for like a rustic treetop, $19.99 for LED is a really good deal. So we're heading home now. I just got out of home, um, at home. I was gonna say home goods. So they had a lot of cute stuff, but I didn't get anything other than the pillows that I showed you and the sign that I came here for. That's pretty much it. I usually like to do most of my Christmas shopping or for decoration stuff after Christmas when they have sales. Like right now the Halloween stuff is like 75% off. So we'll come back then and see what they have to offer us because I don't like paying full price about it. So it's about five o'clock. It's a lot later in the day. Um, last time I spoke with you guys, it was probably around like 9.30. <sighs> Having a second cup of coffee because as I told you guys, after staying up all night, I need coffee. We still have some uh, outdoor decorations that we're gonna put up. I'm making dinner right now. I'm making a split pea soup, which is really easy. Also because my refrigerator is kind of empty, because last week the only grocery shopping I did was for Thanksgiving and um, and we've just kind of been eating leftovers and just kind of stuff I can put together so I have to do real grocery shopping today and um, and I'm gonna do split peas because all it requires is like onions and carrots and celery so and that's all I need to and that's pretty much all I have in the refrigerator right now uh, my daughter has let me show you guys She's got the fireplace going. She's, she takes the Christmas spirit to a whole new level. 
But I also wanted to show you guys, I got these at the dollar store. Super cute. At, at the store that I went to this morning at home, they were like $6.99 for not exactly like these, but similar. And these are were only a dollar. I mean, they're not, you know, the best thing ever, but they're, they serve its purpose and they were a dollar and they go great. Let me show you. Over or under our fireplace. Are you going to finish this? Sure. <laughs> so for my split pea soup, I just used some of the celery that was left over from Thanksgiving, the carrots left over from Thanksgiving. This is the perfect thing to make if you want to get rid of some of your veggies that you have left over for, for, um, from your Thanksgiving stuff. Um, I did, instead of using onions, I used the shallots that I had left over from the stuffing and um, some of the uh, vegetable broth that I had left over and I poured it in here with some split pea, uh, with uh, split peas. And then I kind of use as guidance the Amy's uh, split pea recipe. And it doesn't come with any measurements, but I just kind of look on the back of the cans and it's really basic. And I just add whatever it says on here, like celery, split peas, obviously, carrots, sea salt, some basil, um, garlic, bay leaves, and black pepper. And that's pretty much all I do. Real simple and a good way to get rid of your leftover veggies. Okay, so what we're, we have to put up are these candy canes that I bought at Costco last year. And then we have to rearrange the electrical, um, what are those things called? I can't even think of it right now. These extension cords. We have to rearrange them so that we can get some of the lights at the front to work with them. Oh, they have the wreaths, but they don't have the little Christmas tree. What you got there? Stickers. Good old Trader Joe's stickers. We are getting a little tiny Christmas tree. Are they closing yet? No, they don't close till 10. We are back at Whole Foods because the trees at Home Depot were horrendous. Alright. Let's get the fullest one. Yeah, let's get the prettiest one. Cute. Yeah, that one is cute. Pull it out. Does it smell good? It's slanted. Smell it. Tree is practical, but there's something special about picking out your tree that a fake tree can't replace. I think the first one that we looked at was beautiful. How about this one in here? Which one? This one? Let's see. Oh, this one that Daddy picked out is nice, Sophia. It's like really even everywhere. We got a real tree. <laughs> I could smell the pine on my hands. Oh, I 
I love the convenience of having a tree that already comes lit because I'm not putting lights on this one or maybe just like a little quick string of lights but oh, they're nothing nothing replaces having a real real Christmas tree and the smell of pine and picking out a tree that was like tradition and we kind of missed it last year so we wanted to definitely do that this year you excited what are you excited about Yay! Yay! <laughs> Put your seatbelt on the right way. I can't breathe. Why, wow, you guys wasted no time decorating it. So this tree is yours and you can decorate it however you guys want. Here. There's really no rhyme or reason to the ornaments on this tree. But hey, it's their tree. They can do whatever they want. <laughs> it looks beautiful for them and that's all that matters yes baby okay guys so I just made myself some sleepy time tea uh, tidied up around the kitchen got rid of the mess on the counter got my water bottle filled up for bed and it is now bedtime. Harley, time for bed. Come on. We have our beautiful Christmas tree, which I actually think that, because you can't really see it over here, I think that I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to take the dog bed and put it over here, and then I'll take the table and put it over here, because I just think it'll be better there, and that way you can see it from the kitchen while I'm doing dishes and I just like to look at it. Anyways, I have like 3% on my phone left and I've been vlogging on my phone today. Hello. So it's, um, I can't remember if I've talked to you guys already today. Today is the, today's the third and this will be in Vlogmas, uh, the second Vlogmas that I post. So I was looking through all of the uh, recipes that I have so a while back, I purchased this recipe thing from like the Target dollar section. And I had been want I'm talking like probably six months ago. And I've been wanting to add my recipes to it. Recipes, they're just favorites from recipe books that I have that have been like big hits with the kids and my husband. And I just want to put them all in one spot because it's so much easier than me trying to remember what recipe goes from what. My friends were making fun of me the other day because they all don't, apparently all of them don't need um, a recipe book or recipes to, to make something. They don't, you know, they just kind of look at the recipe for reference and then they do their own thing. I don't. I'm the kind of person, and comment down below if, if you're like this, but I'm the kind of person that I will follow a recipe down to like the last gram. I'm, I take recipes very serious. So I cook, you know, mostly recipes. I'm not very creative. I'm not a bad cook. There's a couple of stuff that I make myself that I know how to make well, like my grandma's black beans. And I promise there's other things, guys. I just can't think of anything right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, so there's other stuff that I, you know, cook on my own. But then the, there's things that I follow a recipe for. Like, I don't know, I'll give you an example. Oh, split peas. I can make split peas without a recipe. And I can make butternut squash without a recipe. And that's all I can think about right now. So I have a very busy two weeks. It just so happens that it's when I'm doing Vlogmas. And it's finals, like the final two weeks of school. So I don't know what I got myself into. Good morning. So it's Sunday and it's the final day of our uh, weekly vlog. And we're actually gonna go to the annual holiday parade that they do in our neighborhood. And that's pretty much the plans for today. We're at Costco and my husband is trying to convince our son to buy this truck. But who's the truck gonna be you, for, Henry? You don't like that big truck? Daddy. Yeah, it's gonna be daddy's Why truck. Not for you? Little one, little one, and more smaller. 
And that one is cooler. It's bigger. It's got bigger tires. Babe, if you want to get it for yourself, get it. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want it? Together.